all right so with authentication in place uh, so by the way I've created uh, these update and delete method behind the scenes so update method will just uh, grab the board and update with all request data similarly destroy with uh, will delete the board uh, uh, with certain ID and similarly defined yeah this put and delete these two methods inside uh, my routes okay it's right time to commit I think so let's, let's do git init git add all git commit with message api authentication all right so now let's uh let's define a relationship between boards and uh, users so inside uh, users i'll define a new relationship uh, boards so return this has many board class so here as well we'll define a inverse relationship user so this belongs belongs to user class all right so so since we have uh, user id in uh, inside our boards this will uh, it will this relationship will look for this id so i'll create uh, another user so now we have two users and let's create another board as well so user id one user id2 subtaps board and give it web tab board all right so that should work now let's go to boards controller and here inside index method first we'll grab our authenticated user and display uh, the uh, boards of authenticated user so we can do auth user boards this will only show the boards of authenticated user so similarly here uh, we'll check if uh, the auth user id so auth user id if it is not equals to board user id will uh, return response status error message unauthorized and code will be 401 all right so that should work so here also we can use auth user or we can directly use auth id similarly this bit of code we can use for uh, updating as well similarly for destroy as well since we are using this facade we need to import that okay so now let's uh, send request all right so uh, let's use okay since token are same for both we'll just modify the token a bit c with three all right okay so now our token are different so uh, let's grab the token for this user id one 
and use this token and now we are uh, we want to see uh, the boards and we need to uh, send the get request let's send okay so now we can see uh, the board with user id 1 so only see one board so, so in boards table we have two board but we can only see one board so let's try to access uh, the board number uh, board number 3 which is uh, the board of subdep another user let's uh, send the request okay error unauthorized so now let's access uh, that board with uh, access token of the user sub tab let's send the request i think we need to log out and log in okay let's make it null and let's log in log in with uh, login is post request and let's send and password will be password one two three okay success let's grab this token to make our request and let's try to grab uh, with ID 3 we should be able to get access all right so what's this issue okay sorry I think so this is user ID 3 but here user ID 2 Okay, let's make it user ID 3 okay now we should uh, get access to that so slight typo there so my bad all right so uh, now it is working uh, now this sub dev shouldn't access the web devs post let's check that one should throw unauthorized okay it throws uh, not found not oh, okay ID 2 because yeah unauthorized that's fine okay so uh, our authorization is also working so this is uh, the simple uh, board card with all authentication and authorization so now can, now we can start building our front-end app uh, to consume this API and we can easily build the boards and we can uh, make a view on their views uh, different HTML templates to make it look whatever you like so this is the main uh, core part of API so similarly uh, you can create another controller which uh, can create uh, cards related to certain uh, these boards so one more thing uh, one last thing i forgot to add is while creating also you can access like this uh, auth use uh, user mm, boards and create so now we don't need to pass this user id let's try creating new board and body will be name of board will be main board sub tab uh, we don't need to pass user id just name will do okay success let's see in our db yeah there we go so it got proper user id as well all right so uh, next we'll create uh, cards related to this board so I'll see you in the next video